Dave and Norman are riveting the real wheel oleo support here, box in position. Hey, this is getting on, isn't it? Keith's working on the three missing ribs of the wing's leading edge. He has to make a wooden form to enable him to be able to produce the new ones from sheet aluminium. John talks about the new extrusions for the wing ribs. These were made by Simone. The originals were too corroded to use again. So they would be extrusions in a straight line, would it? Yeah, um, but it, 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 it um, originally, um, yeah, and then, then they put a through machine to, yeah. to put whatever yeah. bend on it yeah. it needs. But the pro problem is, if, if, if if you tried to bend that as it is, the, these would spread out yeah. because it's too, there's too much uh, material on there. But if, if, if you have a fixture where it's actually held in and it can't go anywhere, yeah. and, and can, the centre ones, it, it will do it. It, it actually yeah. forces it to do it and it yeah. actually it, it, it stretches this bit yeah. ever so slightly. Without really damaging, can't damage the walls yeah. then. But the ways, this has been folded, you see, and then Simone's put it in a, yeah. in a shrinker to... Somewhere there. I was going to say, don't <laughs> swallow it. It's in my t shirt somewhere. Yeah, don't try to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Mike the painter has now completed the interior paintwork of the Doncaster fuselage KB976. The colour is of that of the RAF 1940 interior Lancaster green. The Oleo support box now riveted in place.
good. What you fitting in here? I'm showing the step out. Oh, you're showing that to step down. Right, trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to work out how it's going to go, so it's obviously got to take some, take some um, hammer, isn't it? So yeah, it's got, it's got to get a lot of people in there now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I think Phil is doing the compass, which is cradled up there. He's, yeah. He's, he's sitting that on there, and I think that's it. I think he's taking longer than he's done. Yeah. I thought he was just doing the outside thing. I wanted to get the inside for the same colour, but... He talked about so leading edge because ribs he's had to produce. It's on the till, but it's always, it's on the skew as well. When you look at it, it's not square to all the others. Oh. No, it's uh, because is it rib meant 22, to be like that? yeah, because rib 22 yeah. is the end rib, so it follows the angle of the next, uh, yeah. the wing, mm. the joint. Yeah, yeah. that's where the diedral comes yeah, in. Yeah. That's right, because the wing's slightly yeah. up, so it's slightly on the till. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> have you got anything what will put it in the correct position, or have you just got to do measurement? Well, you're just trying to set it up, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, a lot of the stuff is, is all yeah, kind of the smashed to pieces. Yeah, the leading edge is damaged, wasn't it then? Yeah, the so skin you wasn't there, it was smashed away. Oh, was it? Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you've got nothing to pin it to, no. No, they're, they're, we've got to make up the stringers. There's, there's some bits and pieces, Yeah. but they, uh, I think the lower skins are still okay because I've managed to straighten them out. Yeah. It's just the upper skins, it, it just yeah. wasn't there, it was yeah. just a gaping hole, but it smashed it. Yeah. Someone had smashed it all open. Mm. Yeah. Knock it over a little bit and then I'll yeah. use my little wheelie thing yeah. just to stretch it and then knock it over a bit more and then stretch it again. Yeah. I see you put these um, slots down the side of... I had to because it, it just couldn't get rid of the metal. No. That's what they've done on the uh, originals. They've put a couple more slots in it as well. There's, yeah. there's additional slots in here. I might have to put them in. I'll just uh, see how it goes because... Because this one is reversed, those flanges point outboard, so they've got to be over 90 degrees. Ah, oh, yes, because they taper down. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to get rid of the material, I might have to put some more slots in it. Yeah. That's what they did in the original. But the problem is one side of it is missing. We oh. haven't got the side of the frame, so I don't know where the slots go. Yeah. So I've got to wait. When I, when I put the slots, they'll be cut out even bigger because that's where the string is sitting. Yeah. So they'll be wide slots, but mm. I've just put a narrow slot in the middle. Oh, the stringers go in there then. Yeah. But, oh, I see. Yeah. I wondered how you, you know, worked out where the slots would be. Yeah, that's where the stringers go. I, I just kind of roughly positioned it and then just put a slot in the middle of the big hole. So yeah. I, I knew yeah. it wouldn't incur on anything. Mm. Just a case of uh, taking it slowly, slowly. Ooh. If you look at that rib on the floor behind you, the that, broken one. Yeah, that's this one. Oh, is it? Oh, oh you've got a good section missing, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. So a lot of it's guesstimation. So you see where the slots are. Oh yeah. See so they put additional additional slots in. See? Yes, I can see. Because yeah. you've got to try and lose the material as you as you're shrinking. Over, it. Over, yeah. You can't you can't although you're shrinking it together, it won't take it. It will take it to a certain point yeah. and then you've crammed so much material it will just crack. Yeah. yeah. The same as stretching it. Yeah. If, you, if you stretch it too quickly, it will do exactly the same. Yeah. 
but you can see that that's how much of the frame's missing, that's how much of the skin's missing as well. Yeah. But the thickness no... of them is very thin, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. That's uh, 28 now. 28 yeah. yeah, the original, but we haven't got any 28, so we'll go, go up a gauge 32. Yeah. Oh, that's the other one, is it? That's that one. <laughs> that's what I've got of that one. <laughs> so I've made the former from that. <laughs> There isn't much, is there? <laughs> Not a lot. This is the one Keith was talking about with the angles. Got one rib in now, not riveted up. Keith uses the mini English wheel to stretch the material to board cracking the aluminium. See what stretching does to it. It's what, sorry? See what stretching does to it, look. Oh, it distorts it, yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's because that's all stretched. Yeah. Now, when I put it in there and knock it over, that'll go. That'll go down. Yeah. So he's keeping putting nuts and bolts in. Yeah. Does, does just Jane have that? piece of metal there. It has one on, on the side there but we we'll put an extra one in because the step's different on this one. So yeah. Just adapting it to suit but it won't, it won't do any harm having that extra bit to step on anyway. No. Extrusions, there's got this one, and he? yeah, he's been picking up the holes. Oh, that's right, he was on about ah, he's put them in on this, hasn't he? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, anchor nuts, anchor nuts, yeah. yeah, got those in here. So, is this the last of the double skin ones to go in? Yeah, there's only two double skin ones, yeah. the other one's got to have the holes drilled in it, but it's uh, not anchor nutted because it's, it's only a single sided one, it's got bolts through oh. down at the moment. Yeah. This, this goes over there. Yeah. Because that's, that's where the what door the, is. Where the cutout is, is it? Yeah. yeah, that's where the door is for the uh, tie down point because it's got a big loop on there. That's right, yeah. New string is for the other side because they were all smashed off. Yeah. So we've got to repair the old broken one. Fan club. This John's fan club. Every time both somebody comes in and has to talk to John, you've seen him on YouTube, yeah. they put a mark. He's had four. Keith's had two. Dave's had one. Oh, I haven't had any. I know. Well, they do come up uh, to the bench over there and say. Please, yeah, well, come and put your name down and mark it on. <laughs>
No, they haven't asked to speak to me. They've normally said, oh, we've seen you on the oh, YouTube I see. channel. <laughs> that might count. <laughs> I'm on the Rose Gallery. Oh, there. yes, yes. Just Jane has now had her tailplane removed, ready for splitting the fuselage so they can restore her rear fuselage to airworthy condition. This section was restored to airworthy condition by Jack in 2019, just as Covid started. A look into Just Jane's rear tail wheel oleo structure. Got the brown, and it's just got going to do this tomorrow. What? What's that? The only coat with the brown, then? Is he just that, covered? That's the front. That's the. Um, and this, this is all going to be black versus black or not. Is that the camouflage one there yeah, then? Yeah. Brown and green and black. Yeah, I didn't think it would come that low, I thought it came to the top. So it's actually a bit, isn't it? And then maybe it'll be black and then that's the Yeah. You win it. No, Mike. <laughs> Sorry? Mike's talking. progressing with the paint of the Doncaster fuselage. This is the top of the fuselage now painted in camouflage colour. You've just, have you got the, you haven't got the green on yet? Yeah. Oh, that's green, is it? Oh. Yeah, you can, it is on the camera green, yeah. 